Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome back to another episode of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. That's the first time I think I have said the entire game title in the opening of the video. Today we are going to Bamboo Terrace. Last time we were in, I don't remember what it was called, Haiku Swamp. That's, that's probably the easiest way to recollect it. I believe there are only two places left that we can go in this, uh, well, that hub world. I should say that. I'm not there anymore. But yeah, this place, and then a flight level, and then we will be done with the second world. So. Spyro! Rhinox have been harassing us all day! The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. I love their technical term there, whirligig. Okay, well, um, burn the Rhinox? Yeah, okay, sure, that... What is... Is that a flying rabbit? Excuse me, Mr. Ox. Yeah, that's a flying rabbit. Okay. Excuse me. Get lost. Man, the Rhinox just seem to keep on getting bigger. What the... D okay. I think I saw one of those in Donkey Kong Country, except it was being ridden by a gopher. Okay, maybe if I destroy all the bamboo, the pandas will go extinct, and I can get a skill point. You know, Spyro's not really, really a very wonderful person either if they are giving him this option. And probably going to reward him if that is in fact the case. Okay, well... <laughs> Maybe he was just poorly influenced by the NPCs from Spyro 2, which the majority of them seem to be awful individuals. Pushing that boulder was hard work. But as soon as I've caught my breath, I'll return to collecting bamboo. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> collecting the bamboo I have destroyed. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything in the corners here? Not a whole lot, actually. Hmm. Okay. Hi there, burn. Hello, ox. Burn. Maybe you're a yak. Was that an ox or a yak? I do not know. Hmm. I am not a biologist type person. Hello there. That was dangerous in many sha shapes, forms, and ways. Please be careful. Those rockets are dangerous. Y you don't say! If someone is shooting a rocket toward you, even if they're just beautiful type firework rockets, rockets are still gonna hurt. They are gunpowder <laughs> encased in a flimsy shell, meant to explode. Of course they are going to be dangerous. Oh hey! The Panthers have been playing, uh... What's it called? Triforce Heroes 2. Not, not, not Triforce Heroes 2, it also... Yeah, that's what I meant. Dwight is born! <laughs> Why do a lot of the dragon babies have buck teeth? No dragons have buck teeth. I just now realized this. You never see any dragon in any media that I know of who has buck teeth. So, why? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, uh, he probably could have placed himself a whole lot better. Very likely could have. Come on, Spyro. Get up there. That was close. I am so glad he didn't knock me down. Okay, so... Semi secret egg hidden away. Do, 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 do. What have you got? What have you got? Madison. Uh, Madison thinks that she is a dog, which takes away the unique animation of a previous dragon. I hope I did not leave any gems behind in that little lower ledge there. Very hopefully not. Uh, you're not a rabbit. What was that thing? And Spyro kills more bamboo. Okay go down into the terrible underwater sections. I'll be glad to get out of here soon. Now I can get out of here sooner. Sumer. <laughs> what is Sumer? That's probably... Ah, eh, never mind. I should not make references that not very many people will understand. Sumer. It even sounds funny on its own. Never mind. Uh, was I something tucked away on this side? No. Okay. So, moving on then. I wonder... Nah. No, sir. Should probably have been rearing up earlier. Although, if he did that, 
then it would probably make it frustratingly difficult to kill these guys. Or maybe... Is Spyro a violent game? Are we really killing these guys or are we just defeating them? Because when they fall down, they look to still be alive. Maybe we are just taking the energy out of them and that energy is reflected in the gems we pick up. Maybe I am trying to look too much into this. So, never mind. Okay. Pokemon don't die, they just faint. <laughs> Same concept, basically. Huh. Uh, are you accessible at all? At all. Maybe not? Not from conventional means at any rate. Uh, where am I going? I should look around a little bit more at first, I believe. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. I just did not take advantage of the angle I had prior. What the heck? It's like an alien bug rabbit. Oh. This is normally not a very good idea. You do not jump into the water that is right next to a waterfall. In this case, it's kind of safe. Very kind of. But still, not something you normally want to do. And dolphin. Or not. So then we cross over here, he tries to shoot rockets at us, I say no sir, instead burn you. You cannot flame me, I flame you. He tried, he tried so hard. Not going to quote us on, not going to quote us on. Where's next bamboo? I saw this one, is there another one nearby? That the pandas do not want us to destroy? The pandas will be all happy that the Rhinox are gone, and they're, they're thinking, Yay, now we can collect all the bamboo we want. And they go look around, and, oh, hey, all the bamboo is gone. It's been burned. Who did that? Maybe it was the Rhinox with the fireworks. Okay, Spyro will never be suspected. We would be honored if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. An egg. Tom? Eh, keeping it simple this time. Whoa! Oh, the emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall open it right away. Uh. Well then. Great job. Good to see that you are thinking ahead. Good grief. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and raid your living places of all the gems available. And we can't actually do this. To all explorers, there is no Yeti here and there never was. He was just a myth, as far as you know. The sorceress. Well, she's trustworthy enough. I think that we can take her word on it. <laughs> so over here, yeah, there's that thing over there. I vaguely remember seeing this from the second game. I think that if we destroy it, it appears somewhere else. Yeah. We have to hunt it down. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure... Did... What? Okay, so we've got thieves in the area. Great! I will probably be... Probably be falling off a lot of places. Okay, well... Yeah, see? Just like that. And... I, did I lose a life? It kind of looks like I didn't. Burn up all the bamboo. Actually, I think that we did burn up all the bamboo and we didn't get a skill point, so that might be a good thing. Okay, before I chase after the thief, I should ensure that I can take care of that vase, vase, whatever. <laughs> I can't say vase and then not say vase, because vase just sounds all kinds of pretentious. No offense to anybody who has a particular accent that might force you to say it that way or that's the only way you know how but as far as America is concerned at least my part of America oh come on people get offended over everything I'm just gonna say screw it Vaj sounds pretentious and that's the way I have always heard it to be okay there you are and okay what was that sound was that Spyro walking on the bridge where is that that is not obvious 
Now it is. <laughs> Bump. That's a very pretty interior I am just now noticing. But why is this thing so difficult to destroy? Uh, back here. Bump. And now all the way back to the beginning. What the heck? You are just... an elusive little bugger, aren't you? There we go. All of the gems. Woohoo! And that's it. Okay. Now we get to go up here. Kill off the last enemy, who is not a thief. And up here is the way to a challenge, correct? Yeah. No gems in the area. All right. Um, let's just go through. Uh, we still have that thief, but that thief is going to be the death of me. I am certain, in more ways than one. So. Please help us, Spyro. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields, but rotten rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Um. Okay, flame all rhinox. I kind of do that anyway. Make sure to toast the Rhinox, but not my friends. Yeah, okay, sure. Hop aboard what, though? Uh, there they are up there. Uh, this is a terrible angle. Oh, I should be... I should probably be shooting the ones that matter. Yeah, that, that might make a difference. Yeah, we'll try again. Okay, now that I know what to look for... <laughs> I'm certain I could shoot ahead, too. So... Should not be excessively difficult. No, you guys could probably just wait until after I've taken care of everybody. Just saying that's an option. You don't have to climb right up there and assume that I'll save you. That would make it easier on all of us. Or do you just have to keep on going? Do you just have to keep on... Oh, it's going to be one of these. Come on now. Get... Yeah, this is going to be a very annoying challenge. Seriously, just don't... Don't harvest your stuff until after all the Rhinox are gone. These ones need to make a bridge first, though. So I guess they kind of have to escape. What were they doing up there anyway? That does not look like a place where bamboo would be growing. Come on in. Yep. And then, yep. And then, yep, yep. There we go. So, can I... Nope. Come on, then. Come on, there. Right there. Yeah. So then we're going to get these guys coming down. Glad I got him. Can I get him? Yes, I could. Wow. And, okay, that's the one I got. Uh, nope, you're screwed. You're also off into the water. Splash, splash. Uh, to quote Peter Pan, or specifically, first mate's me, no splash, Captain. <laughs> Okay, one more time, one more time. Should not be this difficult. Really should not be this difficult. And yet it is. You know, this might be a lot easier if we just had a good enough wind. They start floating down, and then they start floating away, and then they fall in the water, and the pandas do not. Just saying. There. Okay, let's get rid of this one first. There we go. Come on now, come on now. No, Rhinoch. That was close. Okay, where's the next one? There you are. And then... Really? Really? That I'm sure that thing must have gone through him, if possible. Alright, let's skip ahead to the part where I can actually kill those two. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure those are the two. Yeah, because I don't know which ones come next. Probably these guys. Getting really hard not to hit the pandas there. Is that it? That was it. 
Woo! Please take this shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. As opposed to a non-shiny egg. Hello, shiny egg! I'm gonna call you Rusty. Never mind, I'll call the dragon inside you, Rusty. Rusty is a quick disappearer. Is that, is that a word? Now it is. Now that that's done, we need to catch us a thief. Great! Hopefully this is going to be the only thief in this area. Probably not. Am I going to have to chase him across this stuff? That would be very terrible. That would be awful. I would hate it so much. Well, um, at least there are no supercharged spots, so... Yeah. Great job, Spyro. Okay, at least I got across that for Excuse me! You are not supposed to go somewhere else. I mean, at least he's not going across the part that I don't want him to, so kudos for that, but still. Pretty sharp turn there, buddy. So I can probably jump across that and save myself some time. I'm looking for any point I can to cut down on time. So he tries to take the long way- Whoops! Great job! Both of you! That is not what I wanted to see, and suddenly we're on um, this side of what? Okay, passing by the ferry gives me many choices. Is he up? Yeah, he is up there. Uh. <sighs> this is going to be a painful challenge, I am certain. Whoops! Because I can't control Spyro, and Spyro won't listen to me, and the thief likes to do whatever the crap he wants, so yeah. This is not going to be easy by any stretch. But it has to be done. Because somehow, Spyro games give you that little mentality of there is no way I can finish this game and not get 100%. So I am going to get 100% on this game too. Okay, okay. I'll get this thief. If I have to cut around a lot, I will. See, yeah, th that was a turd move. Where'd he go? There you are. Get back here. Get back here, get back here, get back here. So you're gonna go across to the left now, right? Yeah. So I can cut around. That was good. That was probably really close, but that was good. I can do things. Get back here and let me do a thing to you. Probably could have cut that one a little tighter, but no. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. It's this part right here that he can double back around, and that would be bad to have happen. The trick with the thieves, though, is... Did my voice crack? The trick with the thieves here is that they like to skip back around and say, Haha, nope, whenever you try to cut them off. And that's an... Like that! Like friggin' that! You get so close, you have to cut them off to- This channel is rated PG. <sighs> Which is preventing me from saying quite a few things! There! Got him! Pee wee! <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so I've gotten all of those. We've only got one challenge in this area that I could see. Oh wait, we've also got that Yeti challenge. Okay, so based on this, smash to the mountaintop. That sounds wonderful, but we can't really do that. So this is going to be yet another level that we can't finish until we've unlocked all the characters. So, that's going to be it for today. Thanks everyone for joining me for Spyro the Dragon. I'm going the wrong way from the exit. Next time we'll be moving on to a flight level, or a speedway level, or whatever the crap you want to call it. I always call them flight levels, because they were called flight different kinds in the first game. And that's the thing that I have continued to refer them to. So next level... <laughs> level. Next episode we'll be going to that level. And, yeah, I guess that's all I had to say for today. See you guys next time, and take care. Oh. Let's head on over to the Whirly Gig. I don't want to go to the Whirly Gig. That is definitely not a balloon. But, yeah, I don't want to go to the Whirly Gig. I have things to do, Panda. There are places I need to go, things I need to fly around, and things to torch. 
Probably more butterflies? Probably not. Either way, Rhinox will be at my mercy. And it will be up here around this corner. Yes, I should probably start doing the flight levels before I get around to finishing up the last levels. Which will be very weird for me, but you know what? Just take it for what it is. And there's where we're going to go next time. So, see you then, everyone, and take care. Have an awesome day. I'm going to strap on my jetpack and blast some space cows. Can I have one of those? Go for it. Also, what's a space cow? Look out, cows. Here I come. Welcome back to another episode of Spyro 2. No wait. Derp. <laughs>